And now that we've learned something about density, we're going to use that to do chemical analysis of a gas. Here's our first example. In our first example, we're going to take ethane, which is C2H6, that's what the molecule looks like, plus enough oxygen. When we combust that, this is called the combustion reaction, we end up with carbon dioxide and water vapor. And they say, let's say that we had one and a half liters of carbon dioxide produced and that carbon dioxide gas was at one atmosphere and 100 degrees centigrade, how many grams of ethane were burned in the reaction? So how do we start with that? Well, first of all, we have to understand what they're asking for. They're asking for the mass of ethane. So the question is, mass of C2H6 is equal to question mark. That's really what we're asking for. So how do we calculate that? Well, first of all, we want to relate the mass to number of moles and we know that the number of moles of a gas uh, is equal to the mass of the gas divided by the molar mass which means this equation we can then rewrite that saying that the mass of the gas is equal to the number of moles times the molar mass so if we're talking about uh, ethane right here we have C2H6 and that would be the number of moles of C2H6 and the molar mass of C2H6. So that's how we can find the mass. Now, of course, we need to find out how many moles of the gas were used up, which is somehow related to the number of moles of carbon dioxide we end up with. And notice, for every one mole of ethane that was burned, we ended up with two moles of carbon dioxide gas. So the relationship here is that the number of moles of ethane, which is C2H6, is equal to one-half the number of moles of carbon dioxide gas. The reason why I want that relationship is because we're given the information about the carbon dioxide gas, so from this information we should be able to figure out how many moles of the carbon dioxide gas we had. We can then convert that to the number of moles of ethane gas. We can then plug that into this equation to come up with the mass of the ethane gas. So that's the strategy that we're going to use. Now, to come up with the number of moles of the carbon dioxide gas, we're going to use the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT, and so this is, of course, for the carbon dioxide. So we're going to solve that equation for the number of moles of carbon dioxide, which is what we're looking for. So N of the carbon dioxide is equal to PV divided by R times T. So all we have to do there is plug in the necessary information. The pressure, we said, was one atmosphere. So this is equal to 101,325 uh, pascals, so that's atmospheric pressure in standard units. Uh, the volume of the gas was 1.5 liters. We, of course, have to convert that to cubic meters, which is equal to 0.0015 meters cubed, because there's 1,000 liters in one cubic meter. Now we have the gas constant, which is 8.314. That would be uh, joules per mole times Kelvin, this is a decimal place right there, times the temperature, and we're told that the gas was collected at 100 degrees centigrade, which is 373 Kelvin, 273 plus 100, which is 373 Kelvin. So this gives us the number of moles of the carbon dioxide gas that we ended up with. So 101,325 times 0.0015, divided by 8.314 and divided by 373 equals. So we ended up with 0 0.049 moles. 0.049 moles of CO2. So from that we should be able to figure out how many moles of the ethane that we consumed. And here's the equation. So the number of moles of ethane, C2H6, is equal to one half the number of moles of carbon dioxide, which is 0 0.049 moles. And so this would be equal to half of that. So take that divided by two, and we get 0 0.0245 moles of ethane, C2H6. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and find out the mass of the ethane that we consume. So the mass of C2H6 is equal to the moles of C2H6, which is 0 0.0245 moles. And now we have to multiply times the molar mass, the mass per mole of ethane. Now, ethane has two carbons and six hydrogens. 
So the mass of two carbons is equal to 2 times 12 grams, which is equal to 24 grams, and of course that's per mole. And the mass of six hydrogens is equal to 6 times 1 gram, which is 6 grams per mole of, of course, the uh, ethane. And so together, the molar mass of ethane is 30 grams per mole, which is what we want here. We want 30 grams per mole. All right, the moles cancels out. We multiply this times this. And so the mass of C2H6 is equal to 30 times this. So times 30 equals, and we end up with 0 0.735 grams of C2H6, which is methane gas. There we go. That's how we do that. So notice the strategy. We were told for one of the products that we end up with one and a half liters of a gas at one atmosphere, 100 degrees centigrade, and that was produced by burning methane and oxygen. They wanted to know how many grams of the ethane was used. We first noticed that the definition of number of moles is mass per for uh, molar mass, and so we can solve for mass is simply equal to the number of moles times the mass per mole that we have. So we now have to find the number of moles of, of uh, ethane that we used and the molar mass, which is easily calculatable. Next, we have to find the ratio between the number of moles of ethane and the number of moles of carbon dioxide in the equation. Notice that for every two moles of carbon dioxide, we only have one mole of ethane, so the number of moles of ethane is only half the number of moles of carbon dioxide in the equation. Next, we use the ideal gas equation. We have PV equals NRT. Solve that for N, and of course, this is for the carbon dioxide. And based upon what they gave us, pressure, volume, we know the gas constant, and the temperature, we could figure out the number of moles of the carbon dioxide that we ended up with when we collected that. We then use that number to convert that to the number of ethane that we had burned, that we burned up in the equation or in the reaction. And then we find the mass of the ethane by simply multiplying the number of moles of the ethane times the molar mass of ethane, and there is the answer. That's how much ethane we needed in order to produce one and a half liters of carbon dioxide at 100 degrees and atmospheric pressure.